Ooh, and welcome back. This is Keith with WCCF Tech TV, and we're taking a look at a game I have been absolutely anticipating for quite some time. This is The Medium. This is actually the opening sequence. This is in the game. This isn't a cutscene. This isn't a loading screen. You can see her swaying a little bit. But what we're here to do today is we're going to talk about the ray tracing effects and a little bit about the performance and get a look at what it looks like in the game using the GeForce RTX 2060 and we're running the game at 1080p. Before we get into that, I want to talk about the ray tracing features that are used in this game because they're quite interesting. See, the game has two settings for ray tracing. You have RT on and RT ultra. Now you have quite a few settings in there and we're going to probably put those on the screen somewhere in the corner so you can take a look at that and follow along with a chart so that it makes a little bit more sense. So if you turn it off, you're going to get the game, well, as it is with pre-baked lighting, pre-baked everything. But if you turn RT on, you're going to get ray trace shadows in one world game mode. Now, before we get further, the game does have the ability and it does throughout the story split into two worlds. You see both the material and the spirit world all at the exact same time split screen so what they're saying whenever they're doing ray tracing effects only in one world game mode when it goes to that split mode it's going to disable ray tracing so that you can get a um, better performance across it so you can kind of think of this as the rt mode if you want to get uh, a little bit of something and well it gets you all the effects so what you get here with ray tracing on you get ambient occlusion for single reality and you get reflections uh, on select locations when you're in single reality. So again, these things are disabled whenever you go into dual reality where you see both worlds. But if you want to have it on, most of the game you're going to be in a single reality. Not all, it's not a half kind of thing. Most of the game you're going to be in a single reality. And ambient occlusion is huge in this game because this is a horror game. This is a kind of a very atmospheric and it really, really does add to it. Now, what happens whenever you go into Ray Tracing Ultra? Well, Ray Tracing Ultra enables that ambient occlusion for both single and dual reality. So you get it all the way across. And kind of the same thing with reflections. Reflections are enabled in most locations for single and dual reality. Now, it also enables transparent reflections. So those come on. So like uh, mirrors and or windows on cases. Now you'll have those transparent style reflections. Those are the ones that really add depth to the world. Those are really cool. And then you have reflection enhancements where it goes higher fidelity reflections. So the quality of those reflections go up greatly. But before we look at the actual performance, now that we're uh, you know a few minutes in, there we go. Took a moment. All right, let's take a look at the settings here. Now, it's still here with the controller. It does recommend you use a controller, and I highly recommend if you do play this game, you use a controller. So target display is the Avermedia Live Gamer Capture device here, so that's why it says AVX, whatever. Anyway, resolution, 1920 by 1080, full screen, of course. Ray tracing is set to ultra. We're going to go ahead and turn that off, and we're going to turn the quality to high. Now, this high quality, whenever we turn that on, it's going to affect DLSS. We're going to turn um, all of that off, actually. Let's turn on TXAA so you can get a look at the game. Uh, we're going to turn off Fidelity FX Super. So this is a really cool setting. We'll take a look at this later whenever I do the actual gaming. So you got resolution scalability through Fidelity FX, which is really cool. So let's go back. Let's take a look at the game as it stands. So we're looking at, well, about 71 FPS. Now, I know most people would say, Keith, 71 FPS. Um... That's not that impressive. How are you going to be able to turn on ray tracing in a game like this? This is going to be really heavy. So the game is quite heavy. And I'm going to poke around in the opening section of the game here. And then we're going to go through. I'm going to show you some of the really, really heavy parts of the game. So, Shit. hello, kitty. Yeah. All right. So nice this is the perspective too. of the game. The game does move like Next this. Room. And you're not going to it's be like able to ever. move the camera. So the camera is camera. definitely controlled by the game. It's a very narrative heavy game there's very linear not a whole lot of options that you get to do a whole lot of extra all right so this room is very important so when we come numbers. back to it with ray tracing because look at the lighting look at all the reflective surfaces and all of this you're going to find this is a heavy heavy scenario all right let's walk back into this room and we're going to turn we're going to turn ray tracing on we're going to turn rt on and we're going to take a look at the performance now we are going to utilize DLSS because we're going to need it. 
and um, I think most people would understand why. So resume. Now we drop performance down to 42 FPS. And again, this is the kind of game where this type of frame rate is actually fine. And I know there's going to be people that are, you know, a little bit on the panicky side. Keith, why would you say that? Why would you say it? So you see here um, the ambient inclusion. Let's see if we can actually this other room here is going to be a really good indicator. We're going to go in here. See a little bit of reflectivity on the floor. That's a lot better than what it was. Now this room gets heavy. See, we dropped into the 30s here. Um, we're going to go ahead and really show you the difference with the enhanced reflections and going to ultra. If you take a look at the cabinet over on the left and the display case for the what is this? butterflies. Yeah, actually, before we go, I don't want to load the game. We're going to go to settings, go back to display, and we're going to go to race tracing at ultra. And it's an instant thing. Now you see we dropped way down but look at the way those reflections look over in that side of the room it's insane how much that bumps up the levels now 17 fps um you're not going to want to play that let's talk about dlss now the thing about dlss is i don't like the way it's labeled in this game in the sense that it is either high medium or low and that's low quality medium and high so think of it as high would be quality that's balanced and then this is performance so let's go to balanced and we see the performance jump up to right around 30. now that seems like keith why would you want to do that that's what you're going to get like in that heavy dual reality but whenever you get out of a room like this that's super duper heavy now your performance jumps way up even when you jump, go back into other rooms you're seeing the performance stay pretty solid the game is quite quite gorgeous in the atmosphere you can see the way everything just really looks super moody the lighting is very soft it's very natural like but you see there you go back to um look that that's kind of the performance you were getting without ray tracing in a lot of instances so if you turned quality uh, you turned ray tracing off and now check that performance whenever you leave dlss on you can you really want high rate ugh, high performance leave dlss on and turn off ray tracing but uh i mean it's 70 73 and then we go back and we turn ray tracing on to ultra advanced turn dlss back on and we drop to we dropped a few we dropped less than 10 fps so that's pretty impressive I'm going to take a look real quick at if you turn ray tracing on, just turn it on and you go to DLSS and you go to medium. So the balanced DLSS. Now you're looking at, well, roughly better than performance than what you got. So I would go at the bare minimum with ray tracing on. And if you're going to run DLSS, see there, that takes this room and leaves it over 60 FPS. So you're going to get a pretty solid uh, performance in the game, just about no matter what you do. I tell you what, we're gonna go a little bit outside. I wanna show you one bit of the game that is quite heavy. So this is a part of the game. I gotta do a Come little on, do a little jig. I gotta do a little thing to get okay. out of the apartment. Let's do Let's this go ahead. the other way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so this is one of your powers that you have in the game. All right, I had to okay, get a tie clip. That's it. Let's walk very calmly downstairs. out here. Time to say goodbye. And again, this was the RTX 2060 at 1080p. Performance is quite good in this game, even uh, at higher resolutions with other we graphics cards that are designed Jack's for those higher home. resolutions. And you're going to find it yourself in a pretty, as weird as it pretty comfortable position Besides, when it comes to running it, it and enjoying that, it. I may never have learned to use my uh, but again, as far as the game goes, you want to see the performance review right here. This section right here. Notice how it, the frame rate gets a little bit jittery. There's other point. There's another point in the game where something like this happens, and I'm not sure what happened, what's going on with it. But then it smooths right out when you walk away from it. So overall, uh, performance with the medium running in with ray tracing is quite good, and it's a very good use of ambient occlusion Jack, because it really does bring the lighting in the world condition. to a very good spot. Of all my foster, I personally like it with everything on ultra, but you know. Gift. If you can't, if you're not okay with it dropping a little bit below 60, then you're probably going to be in a pretty good shot spot here. I tell you what, 
before we jump out, we're going to go in here and we're going to look at a very heavy location. For those wondering how it can really impact the visuals. Jack's in the prep room. Do, do, do. We're in the funeral home. Because everybody likes playing around in funeral homes and horror games. This is a fairly heavy room where advanced, those advanced reflections and such really come into play. So right here, we're just going to turn this on to ultra. And you can see there, you see the reflections of your character in the little display case there. Performance took a pretty good hit, but we're still quite comfortable. If you're good with that. So again, cards like 2060, uh, turn it on, turn DLSS to balanced and, uh, you know, forego a little bit of the super heavy stuff and you're going to get a really gorgeous game. Personally, I'd leave it all cranked up, but that's just me. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Hope you enjoyed the video. Got something out of it. Let us know down in the comment section below and uh, stay tuned because we'll have a full performance breakdown of multiple graphics cards and where they stand. We'll catch you then.